this is probably one of the most realistic vlogs. <laughs> no, I, I feel like all my vlogs are very realistic because I get very excited. But this is a life vlog and I don't even know if I'm going to put it up. But I thought you would just like to see what it's like behind the scenes of what I do. And this is our last day here in uh, Anaheim, California. We've been out here a couple of weeks uh, working vacation. I have had no town time. <laughs> I've had plenty of fun time, but no like kick up your feet, relax <laughs> kind of days. I've had a couple hours here and there, but I, I love it. I love it. I love living a fast paced lifestyle during the pandemic. It was very slow, obviously. And right before the pandemic, I was diagnosed with stage three cancer and went through about a year's worth of treatments, lost my hair. So I don't take any day for granted. I think sometimes I do too much and put too much on my plate, but I know things will level out and come with me and check out what I'm going to do today. My plans are to get all this stuff up to the post office, the UPS store. My hotel room, obviously, kind of saw it before. Jaden's started to pack up some of his stuff. It actually was a great room. I hope to do a, uh, a full vlog uh, on it. <laughs> it's kind of messy right now, just preparing for everything. But uh, I would definitely stay here again, absolutely. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get over to Disney downtown Disney I almost call it Disney Springs one last time hopefully to get some beignets we tried to go last night but the beignet place closes early even Earl of Sandwich closes early I kind of wanted to head over to some place called Huntington Huntington State Beach Park because I just want to see the ocean I know it's different and I haven't been there it's not too far of a drive from here 25 minutes so after we do all this maybe we'll go check out the ocean for a little bit and then go to springs hopefully we'll see all right so this is what we're <laughs> transporting the boxes in to go downstairs going down the elevator going down the elevator <laughs> going down the elevator the amount of times that we touch this merchandise is absolutely insane you gotta think about it we buy it get it into the car then we get it into the car up to the room then we get it into the truck then we put it in the truck to here <laughs> had to stop and get some free chick-fil-a because i had some points available even though we've been eating at raising canes every day out here because it's so good but how do you get free meals are always good right and it's chick-fil-a so all right so we're just trying to find a place to park i know the pier is up here so i'm hoping that we can go on the pier hopefully i don't know we'll see Parts. and we're gonna just try to find uh, parking so I will update you on that I just wanted to park to show off some of the pretty little townhouses and houses it really is such a vibe down here it's so pretty oh look home of the world famous cheese strips it's all about the sauce is it actually world famous oh they have some shaved ice too all right I'm trying to figure this out here play with the app Press the button. Let's see if I can get to work. Are you sad that we have to go home tomorrow? Mm. We're gonna go explore some gift shops before we walk out. I don't know if you have to pay for the pier. So that thing was pretty easy to use. You just punch in the license plate number and you can pay by the hour. And once you pay the first hour, you can pay in increments of like 30 minutes or something like that. So not too bad. Since we're an official tourist, I'm gonna go look at the visitor information just to see. Oh, look at all the fun stuff. Art exhibit. Surfing thing. Wow. Oh, you could do a walking tour. All right, that's where the gift shops are. But... Where is that poor bird alone? <laughs> oh, look how pretty it is. And the temperature is, like, so nice outside. Went from the world famous cheese something other to now. Ooh. World famous lobster Is it rolls. World famous? I don't know. The breeze is breezing though. It's really nice out. For a second, I thought they were pulling out a body. I know where they were carrying that. If you want supremely cool stuff, you need to read closely. 
and quietly to yourself. Due to the extreme nature of this store, exposure to the items may result in ridiculous fun, sensational, cool feelings. Is this is this an okay store for children? <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is definitely interesting. Animal brutality keeping these puppies in cages like this. For a good time, you can open the door for only a dollar. So curious. What? I have a dollar. She think we should try it? No. Yes and no. What if it's someone sitting there on the potty? I'm so curious now. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Here, let's back this up a little. Hold it steady. I'm a little nervous. I hope it's G rated. Oh, okay. You can't get enough of your old pirate beat, can you? Captain's got me swabbing the tax all day and all night long, and all I want is a few seconds of peace. No, oh, why can't you give it to me? Now kindly shut that hatch and leave me be. Go see what you came here for. Ah, why don't you drop a few of those gold coins into the box on the way out? Perhaps we'll continue this chat later. <laughs> But not now! Get away! What? Aww. Bye, friends. I'll let you back to your business. You can see how windy it is. I wouldn't touch it. Oh, it's a game! Top seller. Go ahead, kid. Wah. 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 Alright. Maybe a top seller because we'd be here all day playing it. You see how windy it is. The, the ocean is beautiful. You can see there's some surfers there. They're gonna go way, way out there. They're having like a surfer meeting. What'd you say? You wanna dip your feet? We'll go down in a minute. It's very pretty. So what's the main difference between Florida beaches and California beaches, you know? We, we're much clearer. I don't know about that. It just depends on where you are. It depends on where you are. California water is blonde. Well, one of the main differences is their water is very cold compared to ours. We only get cold in like the winter months. At night. Maybe at night, but in the summer it's still pretty warm. Here's the other side of the pier. So the surfers are pretty far out from the beach and they are close to the pier. So in Florida, well in here too, they're fishing down on the pier. The sharks tend to congregate more around the pier because of people fishing the food. So that's why New Smyrna Beach is one of the Nicknames is Shark Bite Capital of the World because New Smyrna Beach has the majority of the surfers and a lot of them do tend to surf closer to the actual pier. Does that make sense? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, right away. Maybe they just ended this U.S. Open of Surfing at Huntington Beach. Ended on the 11th, so maybe they were actually taking everything down. Everywhere you go, you see a little bit of Disney. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, it's yours? It's yours? Is it yours? Is it? One thing that's always fun is beach art. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd go down there and take a picture. <laughs> Hey, in my defense, I've been going non-stop every day. I don't want to walk all the way down there because I want to walk. Where? To the shops. All right, we are right here off Main Street. You can see all the surfing stuff. When they all these snacks and stuff. I don't want any snacks. I don't want any snacks. We're trying to save our snack taste buds for beignets, but 
Might as well just walk down here and see what they got. I know. Shaved ice. Roasted corn. That's healthy, right? Kettle corn. Polish food. Churros. I like the Disney one. Kebabs. Bolivian meat pies. Meat pies. Vegan meat pie. Ooh, what about lit lemon? Ooh, that does look good. That looks lit. <laughs> does some a bit with lemon with it. Oh, it does actually look pretty good. Mm. Strawberry mango. That looks really good. Always holistic. Ooh, essential oils. I feel like I need to go in here and take a look. Look at all these pastries. Oh my gosh, how could you even choose this one? They all look so delicious. Oh, they look so good. Next up, they got bread. They got, oh my gosh, cranberry orange bread, blueberry lemon coffee cake. That sounds amazing. They have a spicy wonton. Look at the, look at the little piggy custard in a bun. I've really gotten into teas. They have a whole tea booth down here. So it looks like a lot of local vendors. This, what is today? Tuesday? Wow, this is, I wonder if this is like this all the time. It's like a, almost like a farmer's market. They got fresh honey for $10 and $12. Oh my gosh, look at all the fruits. This is, advice. oh my gosh, they've got organic bone broth made from scratch. That's insane. <laughs> I wonder whose bones it came from. <laughs> Literally such a vibe, such a vibe. Look at all these fun, oh my gosh. Chili, lemon, almonds. I don't know why, but I feel like I want one. Man, this place is such a vibe. Tuesday, midweek. Do they have this out here every time? Look at all the fresh vegetables. I swear I gotta go to my farmer's market as soon as I get back. This is insane. They have funnel cake and churros and pizza. Ooh, and homemade soap. Oh, I love this place. Oh, I already see something Jaden's gonna want. I wonder if they have freeze-dried Skittles over there. Look at that Starbucks. Oh my gosh. Fancy. So if you don't want a fresh base good, there's all these little restaurants inside and a lot of it has like a beautiful seating area. They just have restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. So I'm pretty sure you could find something sweet to eat or something for dinner. The sand is crazy soft. It's a, it's a little workout to get over here because you like sinking with every step. All right, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Ho, 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 ho. You feel it? Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. It's cold. It's like super cold. I don't know how people are in here. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't have a bathing suit. I, I wouldn't need to get in that water to save my life. It's like 10 degrees, that feels like. Jump in that cold water. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Jump. <laughs> Pants on. He's still for pants on. Don't look like it. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you guys how old I am. I, I am in my 40s. That is so dark. But is this a real thing? Seabreeze Pet Cemetery and crema Crematory place. But is it a is it a real pet cemetery? It is. Oh my gosh, it is. It's actually kind of sweet though. And sad. It's sweet and sad and dark. All right, this is going to be our very last trip to downtown Disney. Now don't be alarmed, my Florida friends. Do not be alarmed. You actually do have to pay for parking here at downtown Disney. And even if you spend money, you still have to pay for parking. Here are the rates. Deposit, $10 for the first hour, $7 for 30 minutes after the first hour. And then there's the validation. So I know why that they charge for parking and why it's so expensive still with validation. This is the reason why. Your parking lot is right here. 
which has access to three hotels, which is Pixar Place, Grand, Grand Californian, Disney. and the Disneyland Hotel. They only have three hotels out here. Now, once you go through security and you enter into downtown, downtown Disney, at the very end of downtown Disney, what is there? You have the theme parks. So, if you're a Magic Key holder out here in Disneyland, they actually charge you for parking unless you have the top tier and then I think you get like discounted parking at certain levels so they don't want people that are at the, staying at the hotels or at the uh, theme parks in general to park in that particular area so I don't know what the solution would be but first the bathrooms and they're such a vibe can we say they're a vibe they are a vibe how my son just randomly finding money on the ground <laughs> right for real such a vibe out here, such a vibe. Once entering downtown Disney, you go to the right and you go down just a little bit further. And down the right is a little shop called Beignets Express. It is a third party company. But the beignets are so good. My favorite. I gotta get them one last time. One last time. So I was just down here yesterday and all of these pens just released today. So this one was a limited release. Tinkerbell limited edition. Limited edition showtime. Ooh, got some new Halloween ones. Maleficent. Hades. How much are these? $19.99. And then we have Nightmare Before Christmas build a pin limited release. How much is this one? $19.99. Yzma. And Ursula. I swear, I did not see this Magic Pan Plus, and I love this color. Honestly, there's three that I really like the balloons one because I have a balloons dress that would match this and This Disneyland one is so pretty too. I like all three. Oh, the struggle is getting real. The merch is getting better and better All right, so Jazz Kitchen and then it's Beignets Express. Also fun fact just because Downtown Disney may close at 1 o'clock doesn't mean all the stores close at 1. Some of the stores if I'm not mistaken Beignets Express Sometimes they close at 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Earls of Sandwich, 11 p.m. It just depends on the day. Also, I'm going to tell you, if you guys want to get beignets, try to get them early. The time now is about 7 p.m. and the line is not very long. The longer you the wait, it goes all the way down and can kind of come back up again. These are very, very good beignets and very popular. So these are the prices that they have here. We're just gonna get the original, but during our stay, we actually have tried some of the other ones as well. Jaden's favorite was the Banana Foster. My favorite was the Strawberry Shortcake. Right now, the glaze of the month is S'mores. Two years ago when I came out, they had a birthday cake one, and I haven't had anything as good as that. That was my favorite one, the birthday cake, and I haven't seen it since. Well, I don't know how to make beignets. Maybe I need to learn because it says this is available in store or order online. I didn't know this was the thing. This is the mix. $11.99. Ooh. I gotta figure out how to make beignets. <laughs> That's really tempting. That's not a bad price point. Okay, so these are made fresh. Hot and fresh. Like, they're literally making the beignets and making them right there. Like, I wash her, put it in... And then I got, uh, you can get diff different dipping sauces. I got caramel this time. I haven't tried the mint julep. Everybody talks about it. Jaden. Tastes like lemonade. Tastes like lemonade. But uh, yeah, they're hot and fresh. They're so good. So delicious. So this is hilarious because they actually have some of the D23 merchandise inside this shop. What? I know. So some of it was just released at D23, it wasn't exclusive. What I find crazy 
is that this particular hoodie here completely sold out during the event. I actually, uh, yeah, I was going back to get one for myself, actually, and they sold out of it. Um, they only have an extra small in stock right now, and it looks like a couple of extra larges. This particular thing right here, I don't believe was technically exclusive to the event. It was just releasing at the event. Now, I could be wrong, because it does say while supplies last. I actually really wanted this, um, but I didn't want to ship it back home. <laughs> I love storybook canals. And then this shirt here, my sister actually got that one, and I was gonna buy this one too, and they sold out of my size. So the last day of the convention, they only had size smalls left. And it is oversized small, but I just couldn't get into it. Medium. Of course, large. they've got the medium, the large, and, and they the got the extra large the last now. One left. They had the Starbucks 70th. Disney. <laughs> What else do they have from the convention? Not much. Uh, the big Ichabod and Mr. Toad. That was kind of violent. And I think that's it. I don't see anything else. Let me look Downtown at Disney is such a vibe. <laughs> such a vibe. Downtown Disney is vibe for Well, yes and no. Like, look at the home store. It's so cute. It has a nice flow to it, but it's very, very small in comparison to... Disney Springs. Disney Springs is like a whole city but we don't have in to itself. Have so much. Yeah, because this it's small. Yeah, it's <laughs> this is where you can actually enter into the Grand California, and if you're staying there or you That's wanted to go check out some of their treats. <laughs> so if you are watching. I think I put it on my Instagram stories. My my dad and Karina were here and they just stayed in one of those balcony rooms and we could look down here to see people. And now we are one of those people. All right, I just want to take a look here because this caught my eye. This is really cool. Do you see, like, if you see here, you can't really see it. It's almost like it's like a hidden Mickey. $50 for the wallet. This is really perfect Kirk, for Christmas. <laughs> I really like it, actually. I always love the sequin bags. $98. All right, so just in. Do we love it? The ombre. Do whip. Do whip. Do whip. I'm I sure like that they have. I like the do whip. Oh, my God. What? I like the lot of front <laughs> oh. Why can we not have the do whip? I'm sure. I'm sure they have it over there. They just got this. Just got released today, if I'm not mistaken, because this was not here last Everybody night. And look at this. <laughs> that's our Starbucks point. tumbler is thirty dollars. That's our. That's our pro. Go buy Dole Whip. Um, go buy Dole Whip to get a twenty percent off. Of you our, get twenty percent off Dole Whip for our shopping. Oh. Look at the new Munchling Nightly Before Christmas. All right, we are heading back. No, you're to gonna make me sad. Say our last goodbye. So to the left, you have Disneyland, and to the right, California Adventure. And it looks like our friend has arrived. Nah. <laughs> Guys, and don't forget, everybody's gifts, so happy. Guess and what? Share the Oogie Boogie Joy. Guess what? Look, Doctor, my fingers. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is coming. I'm holding Oogie Boogie. <laughs>